Hello everybody, it's Michelle with Unicorn Spit. I'm here today to show you how I took some scrap wood and a few little door hanger thingies and turned them into pretty cool looking little shelf. So what I did, I took um, a torch. It's a, a butane torch and I just scalded the wood grain on this piece of pine scrap. I find that pine works better than any of the other woods because it's so soft and whenever you scratch off the burn, it leaves you these really deep grooves and I think they're really pretty. Next, we took a little bit of, when I say we, I mean me and my mama, we took a little bit of the sparkling unicorn spit and I mixed some of the blue and green to get this really pretty teal and my mom just pretty much went to town just coloring the wood in with the rainbow colors. And as you can see, she gets it wet first. It's because the sparkling does come in the concentrate as well. It's not as concentrated as regular unicorn spit, but it's pretty potent stuff. And what's nice about it is that it absorbs into the wood grain. The actual micas absorb into the wood grain as well. So you get this beautiful, super sparkly look that you just can't get with any other wood stain on the whole market. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it with the Shoshogi Bon. I took both pieces of the scrap wood and lined them up and pre-drilled some holes and put them together with some deck screws to make a little shelf. From there, I just measured out my little brass hangers figured out exactly where I wanted them to be on the board, marked it out so that it would be nice and centered, popped a couple of shorter screws in it. You wanna make sure it doesn't go all the way through the back. And you also wanna put your hanger on there as well. Then I used a little E6000 glue to really adhere those hangers on so that they wouldn't shift side to side. It worked great adhering that metal to the wood. Now our project's all done. I have it hung up on the wall and I know you're wondering, did she seal it? No, not everything needs to be sealed. If it's not gonna be exposed to water or high moisture, you don't need to seal it. I'm kind of a dry dusting cleaner myself. I hope you love today's little show Shuggy Bond rainbow project. And until I see you again, be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow. Goodbye.